Thursday, 23 January 2014, will remain a bad day in the history of block industry in the FCT as the FCT administration demolished over 35 block making industries. When ITV revisited the destroyed block industries a day after, the traders we are seen gathering what they could from the remains of their demolished investments. Speaking with ITV, they blame the FCT authority for refusing to relocate them to a permanent place. I have been waiting for them. Last, I think about last two, uh, five months ago, they told us that they have given us a place that they are sovereignty. That after they will, they will go and show that player place, but since that time, since that, that time, nobody have ever shows the the place to. Because we have been fighting to get a permanent place. You see, then up to now, there's no. I have not given us a permanent place. We have been here thinking that maybe this is the only place we are going to stay. But here we are again, demolition trying to chase us away from here again. So I don't know where we are going to. Over 24 hours after the demolition, those affected appear to still be burning in the inside. They faulted the demolition exercise, saying January is not a good time to push them out of business. As you see me now, see my body. My wife, my wife born. For hospital. They come scatter my, my place where I get money to feed my children. They scatter them. Spoil my shop. I'm totally disappointed. I don't know what to do again. Where I'm getting money to feed my family, they scatter it again. What, are, what am I doing? We just came back from travel and uh, we are facing the I'm not going to talk about you. That's the government. In January, there's a lot of challenges. In general, you know, you have to cut out for the family, you have to pay the school fees. Uh, always, if you don't have your own permanent house, you have to pay for house rent. All these are the challenges one has to face. So if we have faced this before, before December or before January, it would have been better because now everybody has exhausted all what he has for December. They came here to destroy. Look at that. Look at that. Now we have not food. We are going to eat food now. We don't have money to eat. We are struggling here. This is January. We just came back from from village, and we are we are hunting. You see? Okay. Look at your school fees. How much is food for us? Twenty is food for us. This is January. So what do you expect us to do? This press, I don't know what to do now. The director of development control, Mr. Yaya Yusuf, in an interview with ITV, noted that the FCT administration is working on getting a permanent site for those affected. Only recently, as part of a prelude to this exercise, we had had to contact Urban and Regional Planning again, and they are already they've gone to advanced level in securing some alternative sites for the purpose. But as you know, I mean, those sites have to be plotted out and then allocation made and then they, they move into them. This man, whose block and concrete making industry was spared for undisclosed reasons, was busy evacuating his goods to another place. Although the demolition team appeared to be on break Friday, AEPB staff were seen collecting litters from the roadside. We came here and we discovered that the place is dirty with litters. People throwing litters from the vehicle while moving and the people moving along the road. So we are trying to keep the road clean. Members of a demolished church, we are seen removing wood from their place of worship. One man tears, the saying goes, is another man's joy. Scavengers, we are seen in high spirit, collecting what they could from the remains of the crushed structures. Their bags, we are filled with joy and smile visibly seen on their faces. The lamentation story by those affected is getting longer and more pathetic. To be out of business in the financially dry month of January is what one would not even wish his enemy. They are appealing to the FCTA to give them a permanent site to do business. How soon this would be, no one can tell except those in authority. From the Apple resettlement site, I am Ikharo Atta, ITV News, Abuja.